The cost of Valentine's Day is rising, and we're going to break that down in just a bit. But that was part of our deep dive poll question. And then we asked, how do you plan to celebrate? So you can see here in New York City in the Bronx and Brooklyn, a majority 50% said they're going all out. I like that. In Westchester, though, totally different story. 79% said they are not celebrating. And then that was the same answer we got over on Long Island. A majority, 67% said they are not celebrating. So what are the big items making this holiday cost more this year? Caleb Silver is here to break that down. Caleb, I'm not loving these higher prices, so let's dive in deep. What's costing more and why? Well, Christy, you know money can't buy you love, but if you're going <laughs> to spend this Valentine's Day, it's going to cost you more, and Americans are supposedly intending to spend more. Spending for Valentine's Day is going to go up to $23.9 billion. That's about $175 per person if you're going all out. And if you're going all out, that means nearly everything you're going to spend money on for Valentine's Day is costier. Let's start with beef prices, which are up in the Northeast. They're up over 62.5%. Dozen roses up 54%. Diamonds up 14.9% if you're going strong on that. And a box of chocolates up 9%. Wine, a bottle of red, a bottle of white. If you're getting some champagne, that average out to about two and a half percent increase from last year. Any items that are staying, you know, in the same cost or that we could get a deal on this Valentine's Day? Well, gold and silver prices have come down a lot from earlier in the year. They were sky high. They've come way down. Caleb, thank you. And we have some more delicious deals for Valentine's Day. Scan the QR code to be connected to that.